What is up, Kane TV? My name is Franklin Aguilar, and welcome to the very first episode of Curtain Call with Frank. Today, I find myself inside of the Vaughn Ames Arts Building covering the hottest new production, Blood Wedding. It was directed by our very own Professor Ernest Wiggins. So what do you say we go check it out? What's up, King TV? I'm here with one of the audience members, my good friend, Chris Grant. So, Chris, what did you think of tonight's play? I thought it was insane. I'm still shaking. My hand is still shaking afterwards. I mean, from start to finish, it was nothing but action. It was nothing but, you know, tension. It was, it was wild. Guys, I'm here with Roberto Asensio, who played Leonardo. Roberto, tell me just a little bit about your character. Oh man, my character is an uh, interesting character. He's a conflicted character. A conflicted character that loves someone who doesn't necessarily love him, maybe. A little hint there. But he's just trying to find love, you know. But he's also not the very nicest person, you know. How did you prepare for this role? Well, wow, that's a great question. I prepared for this role by Honestly, really thinking about how it would feel like if you couldn't get something that you wanted. Like, how would that feel like? You know, how would it feel like not ever being able to get what you want? Based on like society, based on like maybe family not letting you do that. You know, Hispanic culture sometimes. Oh, I know. You know, sometimes it's not, you can't do what you feel, you have to do what's set. There's a standard, there's a culture, right? So it's 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 difficult sometimes. But he's trying to break through that. Guys, I'm here with Deasia. She played the character of Death tonight. So Deasia, <laughs> tell me, how did you prepare for this role? Um, a lot of it had to do with dramaturgy and like doing research into what the play was about. Um, the play is about you know challenging societal norms and like what's okay for women to do and what's not okay for them to do. And Death. Primarily her being a woman, it's important that she's the one that represents what the women are at the end of all of their life. You know, she's bitter, she's angry, she wants blood. Um, and that's kind of the life that all these women lead because they're forced to put be put into this box. So a lot of my research came from reading more about Lorca and a lot of physical stuff because, you know, very physical character. <laughs> I am here with the bridegroom. That's right. And he played an amazing bride tonight. And tell me, man, what is the favorite thing about your character? Well, my favorite thing about the character is just how real he is and how and how human he is. You know, he expresses so much human nature, love, uh, revenge. How he seeks like a revenge towards uh, Leonardo, the guy who cheats on his wife. Right. And just how like human it is, yeah. So can you tell me some of the themes that the audience can see throughout the play? So yeah, so throughout the play there's always uh, love is a big theme, the biggest theme of all, because that inspires revenge amongst the characters, uh, Bridegroom and Leonardo. Um, there's also family, the mother has such a big influence on the son because of the father who died and the brother who also died, so yeah. I am here with Brianna Martinez who just happened to play a wonderful bride. <laughs> Brianna. Tell me a little bit about your character. So, she who doesn't have a name is very emotional. She wears her heart on her sleeve. She goes crazy throughout the show because she's so torn between two men that she loves and it doesn't turn out so good for her. So again, she's emotional, so she always goes back to that emotional right. place. So this very emotional character, what did you love most about her? I bet. I think I relate to her in that we both wear our heart on her sleeve. She's not afraid to be angry when she's angry and she's not afraid to be upset when she's upset and she's not afraid to laugh when she's happy and I can really relate to that. That's something that I... Thank you for your time and you did a great job tonight. Thank you so much. I am here with Jordan Brown who just so happened to play the father here in this play. By the way, you did a fantastic job. Thank you very much. So please, tell me a little bit about your character. 
Well, the father of the bride is a very hardworking man. He grows alfalfa, even though his soil isn't really all that good. But right. he tries to find like the positive in everything, especially knowing that his daughter's getting married. He's seen the land that's been torn from years of war and struggle, and he's hoping that the wedding will not only change things in his life, but also bring like communities together. Wow. Did you do anything specific to prepare for this role? Uh, I did a lot, actually. There was times where I had to learn a lot of Spanish. There were times where basically I had to think about like if I have a child of my own and basically picture them in the type of scenario that my daughter would be in right now in this play. And it, it, it was a little tough because like, you know, you get so many different roles and you like try to take on so many different traits and like for me I usually play like serious characters but for the first time I got to play a character that was very lighthearted, very fun for the audience like someone to make everybody smile and that's the type of character I really enjoy playing. So congratulations to you guys. Woo!